difficult for the human ego to admit that ours is an average planet revolving around a nondescript star on the outskirts of a typical galaxy just one of billions of galaxies in an unimaginably vast universe planet in the solar system, one of a family of nine planets whose motions are dominated by the sun, an average middle-aged star, which will generate heat and light for billions of years as it has for the past five billion years. The closest planet to the sun, Mercury, is overwhelmed by its fiery parent. Mercury is a cratered, desolate planet, much like our moon. black airless sky, 67 million miles from the sun, is Venus. The surface of Venus is perpetually hidden beneath a deadly atmosphere of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds. Past Venus, 93 million miles from the sun, is the planet Earth. Its great oceans form the cloud and irrigate the planet and nourish life. Its moon, about one quarter of the size of Earth, is almost as large as the planet Mercury. There is no air here and no sound. A footprint left here by our astronauts will remain undisturbed for millions of years. The next planet, 141 million miles from the Sun, is Mars. In years past, there had been imaginative speculation about the existence of Martians digging canals and managing vast farms. But no unquestionable evidence of life has ever been found here. Beyond Mars is the asteroid belt. Thousands of fragments of metallic rock the largest is as large as the state of California, and the smallest, no more than a grain of dust. Beyond the asteroid belt, more than three times the distance from the Sun than Mars, is Jupiter, the colossus of the solar system. More massive than all the other planets combined, Jupiter is, in a sense, a miniature solar system, orbited by over a dozen moons. At twice from the Sun lies the most elegant planet in the solar system, Saturn, with its remarkable rings encircled by dozens of moons. Far beyond Saturn, over one and a half billion miles from the Sun, is the third of the giant planets, Uranus. Circled by a system of thin rings, Uranus rotates virtually on its side, a fallen giant. The last of the giant planets, Neptune, is more than two and a half billion miles from the Sun. 
Neptune is accompanied by two moons, Triton and Nereid. The last known planet in the solar system, Pluto, averages almost four billion miles from the sun. With its recently discovered moon, Charon, Pluto moves in a dim twilight of unimaginable cold. From here, the sun is only a brilliant light in the night sky. This is the outer edge of the solar system. Traveling at 186,000 miles per second, it takes five hours for the light from the sun to reach here. But consider this, it would take four years for the same light to reach the nearest star beyond the solar system. Traveling beyond the solar system to the nearest star would represent a voyage of more than 25 trillion miles. And our sun is only one of several hundred billion stars, all bound by gravity and all revolving around the core of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Only half a century ago, our galaxy was still thought to be alone in the universe. Now we know it's just one of a local group of over 20 galaxies. And throughout the universe, there are more than 10 billion galaxies in clusters as far as the most sensitive instruments can reach. In a continuous cycle throughout the universe, new stars are born and others die. Some stars, after millions of years, deplete their reserves of nuclear fuel until only a white dwarf star remains no larger than the Earth. When a star more massive than the Sun reaches what's called the red giant stage, its core collapses, raising its temperature by billions of degrees and triggering an unimaginably violent blast. A supernova explosion. What remains is an incredibly dense neutron core, so dense that a single tablespoon of its matter would weigh some 10 billion tons. The core begins to spin rapidly, emitting radio signals throughout its strong magnetic sweeps past the Earth, its pulse can be detected, and the star is not. An even more bizarre death is predicted for the most massive stars. According to the laws of gravity, nothing can stop their collapse. The star virtually disappears from the universe, leaving a black hole in space. Its presence can be detected only by its influence on a companion star. Gases pooled from the visible star circulate around the black hole, and in a dizzying plunge, X-rays are emitted, which can be detected from the Earth. The gravitational pull is so intense that nothing, not even light itself, can ever escape this mind-boggling abyss. Although we know that this vast collection of galaxies we call the universe is expanding at a fantastic rate, the universe itself must come to an end. If there is to be no end to the expansion in time, the light of every star will be extinguished and the galaxies will disappear into infinite blackness. But if gravity halts the expansion, the universe will fall back on itself. Galaxies will lose their individual identities, stars will explode, and the endless sky will perhaps once again become a frightening blaze of light.